The San Diego Automotive Museum is unveiling a new exhibit today detailing the history between moonshine running and NASCAR. Allie is at the Auto Museum to bring us uh, the details. Hey, Allie. Hey, Allie. Yeah, where they have big giant fans in here, so it feels very nice. I'm going to say that first of all. Second of all, Peter, where are the keys for that car? Uh, I'm not going to disclose the location of our uh, key cabinet. That's uh, a <laughs> that's, uh, museum business, museum business only. You know, We don't, we don't want the KUSI team coming down and uh, charging up the coronet. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. I have a feeling that uh, Lauren m- might work you over on that one. So <laughs> tell me a little bit about bootleggers. What is this new exhibit all yeah, about? Yeah, so this new exhibit is all about uh, bootlegging, whiskey running, and how it all led to NASCAR and muscle cars. It's a really fun exhibit all about uh, you know how these cars right here, especially these two with their Ford flathead V. Um, how they came about and were used to be heavily modified and used to run away from police. It was a pretty interesting story. These guys got so good at running from cops, they decided to meet up on the weekends and race each other. People started really enjoying that. They said, hey, these guys are pretty good. Let's go watch. Started paying. They said, hey, let's make a business out of this. And they got together, decided to come up with a bunch of rules and make the national uh, stock car auto race. And, um, so NASCAR, yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. And so for you, as you bring in these cars, I mean, a lot of these, they're pretty old vehicles. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're almost 100 years old, some of them. I mean, this is 1930, um, 1936. You know, these cars are uh, just, what, 90 years old about? Yeah. yeah. So it's pretty cool. Um, it's uh, you, you would have seen these cars out on the tracks in West Virginia, uh, especially this 36 Ford and a 40 Ford Coupe. Those top tier NASCAR races, uh, racers in the beginning of it all, they were driving these cars right here. They would, you know, take these cars, these flatheads, uh, soup them up and decide to meet up on the track and they went pretty fast i mean there's stories of these people going over 100 miles an hour 115 miles an hour in 1940 so that's pretty especially on a back road and it's a really cool concept because i just love that we have these cars and the cop car too it shows a little disparity between the two and these people they had a respect for each other you know everyone bootlegging it was a crime but it was also a way of life for a lot of people you know they've been moonshining long before prohibition had come about and prohibition came about they're like well i'm not going to stop doing this and also i can make a lot of money off of this because they're not doing so well with the corn crops right so they decide i'm gonna you know start moonshine and make extra money and the cops yes it was against the law but at the same time they understood the liquor laws they understood you know the way people drink the way the country is and they kind of had fun with it you know they would do their own thing the cops would come up with little tactics to check catch the moon yeah. shiners moonshiners would come up with little fun tactics like uh, oil slicks or tacks on the road uh headlights in the back so they would blind the cops old uh you know like search lights and stuff like that really you know messing with each other and they would even come up with truces and be like you know that is a little uh, too much that you that's working too well you stop doing that we'll stop doing this oh, so they had this mutual respect for each other and it was just a very interesting time in history and it's just you can, as you can see here in this exhibit you know nascar came about from all of it so it's just fun time yeah. obviously a ton of history you can come you can learn it here what time do you guys open what t- when yeah, can we people open come? at 10 a.m and we close at 4 30 or at 5 p.m so you know come on down this exhibit will be here for the next six months so yeah. enjoy good opportunity to learn some history while you come down here find peter he'll tell you all about it he knows the ins and outs of all of this really neat uh collection of cars here as part of bootleggers guys back over to you all right Allie. i still think we could fire it up just a little bit Probably against the insurance. But, uh, you know, I know. It just it looks not. loud. You fire it up just a little bit. Well, I mean, it's either just on come, or it's off. Just it's purr not, a little bit. Right? <laughs> I, I'm just. Uh, I like the paint job on that. Yeah. That'd be. It's like right? a green hornet car. You have to tell Peter he's got a great name talking about uh, yes, the, the, the bootleggers. Is he part of the yes, Gambino they family? They like your name. They feel like it's fitting for this exhibit. <laughs> yeah, I know, my family might have made a little bit of money off of Prohibition, but, you know, <laughs> can't, can't, not going to get myself into anything. Yeah. He's like, I, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I want to know what his 23andMe looks like. Uh, I will say this, though. Um, you might notice it's all Fords, right? So if anybody out there has themselves a uh, Studebaker, uh, you know, it used to be known as a Whiskey 6. It was used for moonshining, or if they have have an Oldsmobile uh, Rocket 88. Those are two cars that weren't Fords that were used for moonshining. So we would appreciate those coming down here as well. They're hard to find. So. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Look at him. He's putting out the all cough. Yeah. There's someone out there. And so maybe TV we land. could get that part of the, the exhibit. He'll make you an offer you can't refuse. I'm curious, Allie, how that works for, for the car owners. Do, do the car owners have to... I mean, is it is it all volunteer that they lend their car? Is there? How does that work? Yes. 
Is it volunteer that people lend their car? Is that kind of how that's... Yeah, so these are all loans right here. Basically, we go out and we try to find the, uh, the vehicles based off of uh, museum connections that we have. You know, some, a volunteer might know somebody because they're all part of uh, automotive clubs. Uh, our detailer, Rick, actually helped us get the 36 Ford. It's one of his clients uh, for the La Jolla Concourse and everything. So it's really just people in San Diego and California who are just willing to help us out, you know, lend a hand and give us one of their cars for a cool exhibit. Yeah. So anybody can do that. And if you have a cool car, email us. Let us know what you got. We'll they put it into our database. You should have done the, I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> you, you can do that for us, right? Yeah. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Yeah. There you go. Uh, there you go. Well done, Peter. See? Well done. All right. We're going to use car too. All right, <laughs> Allie, we'll, we'll get back your way. Thanks, Allie. Right now, let's talk.